What's up guys? Today I'll be recording a garage tour. <sighs> Just kind of felt in the mood to give a garage tour. Um, next one will be up to our... Uh, but this is the first one obviously. The next one's going to be my garage. Garage should I say. So, my, my bike's been um, impounded. So I'll just go ahead and call that out and... Uh. Pardon me. Um, Hello? How busy. This is Morse Mutual Insurance. I'll just be... I'll look into it. it. So, this is the adder. Well, it's kind of obvious. It's been in the car. Game since it first came out. And I think the best thing about the adder is the paint jobs you can do for it. Really. And the speed and just very sleek car. I've had three adders. This is my favourite one. The other one was bright red, and the one before that was black and orange. This is my Aston Martin Dubashi JB700, and it's kind of got the little guns on the front. I like this because obviously I'm British, and kind of makes me feel like a secret agent when I drive it, even though I'm far from it. And this is the Gutty Best Year GTS, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a Ferrari in real life. Anyway, I got this in yellow, it's the only car that I keep because of that. Only because it's a fast sports car and it helped me in those races. So yeah, probably 5 out of 10. And Bugatti's probably 9, JB's 10, I just love it. This is the Koenigsegg, the entity. Um, this car is a beast. I use this for my races, apart from my white... Like, I use this mostly for my own track races, that's normally my stunt races so I use the other for. Anyway, Koenig says probably another 10 out of 10, just because I love to do it drives. Here's the LG RH8, which is a, um, it's a Nissan GTR in life. It's just like the paint jobs you can have for it and the exhausts. And it, again, like the best year, I use this in sports races. So, I'd, I'd probably rate this a 7 out of 10, 8 out of 10 maybe. Got a colour in there. Yeah. This used to be the British mobile, but now it's kind of my death mobile. Excuse me guys, I have a cold. Um, yeah, so, it used to be the British mobile, now it's just the death mobile. It's one of my muscle cars, I have three in this garage. And I probably have three in the other one. So overall, I'll probably rate that a f 6 out of 10. It's kind of one of those cars you have just in case you just really want to drive it. No, but it's hard to really... It's supposed to be a Dodge Charge in real life. Um, it's just a car I have for when I'm just... Well, kind of make me look cool when I'm hunting bounties, but I don't usually hunt them. So I'll probably rate that 6 out of 10. This is the De Classy Virgo. It's supposed to look like Dom's from Fast and Furious. And yeah, it's a pretty good car, but I don't use it as often. It's kind of more like a trophy car. But yeah, I'll probably rate this an 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10 maybe. This is the Tampa, which I love. It's my favourite muscle car in the game. As you can see, they've got that white and black paint job. It's pretty fast, actually. I remember once I was having a race in an adder, but we were kind of just driving to the airport, we decided to have an impromptu race. And I came, like, he beat me, but only because I crashed. It's got great, well, not great braking, but great traction, as you can see. And yeah, it's probably 10 out of 10, just because of the way it looks. Here's the Hakuchu, the fastest bike in the game. Got the Shield logo. So I think I think I had the Shield logo because I had a different logo that I was supposed to go. The bike, then I switched group. I think it was like not group, Gante. No crew, not gang, Jesus. And it was kinda like some stripes going down the side as well, but switched crew. Got it right that time. And yeah, this changed. This is my Nagasaki BF400. I'm just going to take this little test drive right now while I drive to my other garage to kind of just, you know, show you that one. But anyway, I have five 
garage, three apartments and two garages, just in case you're wondering. So the garage we're going to go to is Greenwich Parkway. I think it is. Yes, this one. That's my other one. Oh no, one garage. I remember that sort of no. <coughs> my garage in the Beverly Hills is for my muscle cars. Well, kind of just pimped out muscle cars. Like, what did you expect to see in Fast and Furious? And the one we're going to now is kind of just my random assortment of cars that I'd use if. It's kind of hard to explain really, but. So like my random garage I just call it I need like it's kind of just a, the second best garage I have. Though there is a Dubashi 770 in here which is a beast. Kind of decked it out all black like the entity. Might be part of a series I'm doing. We'll never know. No it's not. Until it's exclusive series. But I am recording a short um, film at the moment with um, just a superhero character basically yeah, that'd be pretty cool you know what, I'm just going to do part 2 in this episode so yeah, that was Janagasaki, that was one of the first times I've well written it I'd probably rate it uh, 8 out of 10 because I'm quite good at bike racing and it could be useful to me. See, yeah, this is why it's my random garage. I don't have any other cars. I've got a Weasel News van, the Gassy Lithium. <sighs> yeah. And then I've got, this is definitely the best car in this garage. Maybe the Panto actually. Because I've had it for two years, it's just in a soldier. And then there's the Bifter I haven't sold. I think these are the cars that I'm going to keep forever. These are just my cars I can't get rid of. This is the Audi R8. We'll start off with the Classic Sabre Turbo. This is a car which I was supposed to be using at Benny's workshop for a video, but accidentally spent all my money. So. Yeah. Here's the dubster. Oh, I forgot to wait that one. It's great for like drifting, but I'd say overall it probably is seven, just because it's not as good as the other muscle cars. But if you take them out of the equation, it's solid nine. This is my truck. It's quite fast and. The paint job's from around Christmas time, so yeah. It's just what I use when I'm off-roading, and that's about it. Probably rate it a 9 out of 10, because you can have six friends here and do some CEO work. And here's my Audi R8, Obey 9F in the game. And I, I like this because of the paint job. It's kind of like a mini version of the Bugatti Veyron, aka Viado. So, yeah. Other than the fact that it's got black rims. I'd probably rate this one a 10 out of 10 just because I like Audi, Audi in real life. And here's my Chevelle, no, Benefactor Shafter. Probably rate this a 7 out of 10 because I don't use it a lot. And I think when I do use it, it's kind of just when I miss call it for a different car. So probably a 7 out of 10. I kind of do like the paint job on it though. I think I've done a no light job with that. So yeah. Here's the Panto. It's kind of just a car, just a piss take, really. And it, as you can see, there's stats. Oh, it's like cargo. Anyway, I don't drive it all. I only drive it if I'm taking the piss. And I did used to have a massive spoiler on the back, but I got rid of it. No, wait. Not massive spoiler, it's something else. I think there's bumpers. This is a bifter. This is my off-roading car. It's actually pretty fast on the sand. You can, if it was on the sand against a Bugatti, it would definitely win. Yeah, I probably like 
rate this a 9 out of 10, maybe actually an 8. But it used to be in the same paint job as the car from Toy Story. Just a little back on stream trivia. And this is the beast, it's an Aston Martin. It kind of looks like a Chevrolet in the front, but the backs and starting from where uh, the glass starts, it's more Aston Martin y. I'd probably rate this a 10 out of 10. It's got black top windows, it's one of my other secret agent cars, so yeah. It's just my council and over here. Kind of, I like the paint job. It's just my drift car for when I'm doing races that we play drifting and off roading sometimes because it's good off road. Um, so yeah, I'd probably rate that a 9 out of 10 for the stuff I use it for. And here's my Pegasi Ruffian, which I only really use if I spawn in this garage and I need to get somewhere quick and it's in like a place like the airport because it's quite easy to ramp into the airport on motorcycles so yeah and here's my Rumpo it's just a reason I use one I don't really use this often at all unless I'm doing CEO work so I'd probably rate this Maybe a 5 out of 10. So, yeah, expect part 2 in the next video. And for now, peace, boys. What the fuck was that? Seriously, Jason, you've got nothing. Peace, people. That's more like it. Peace. Peace. I'm gonna stop now.